If life were simple, we'd communicate with the person one time and resolve anything that needed to be done. That is not the way life goes, though. In fact, many times we communicate about a certain topic many times, over many days, and sometimes even with many people over many months. This occurs both in person and via email. All of these variables make organizing and reviewing all of the threads of a conversation, especially an email, that now reside in various messages, very difficult. That is, at least, it was difficult until Outlook introduced the concept of conversations. A conversation is simply two or more messages between two or more people that are related to one another. They include the original message as well as all of the replies that are made to it, whether that's between just the two people or a multitude of people. We don't even have to know if messages are part of a conversation or just an individual message because Outlook does it all for us. All we need to do is enable the conversation view. One way that we can do this is to display the view tab in the ribbon and from the messages group, simply put a check mark where it says show as conversations. We'll be prompted with a small dialog box that wants to know if we want to do this for all of our mailboxes or just this folder. We're going to go ahead and choose this folder. Depending on how many messages we have in our mailbox, this may take just a few seconds. But when it completes, we should see that related messages are now together. It may be subtle, so we might need to look a little more carefully. In this case, I'm seeing a message from Susan Jensen called Annual Reports. It now has a little triangle next to it, and it also has the number two, letting me know that there are two messages that are part of this conversation. Another difference that we'll see is if we move up to the header of the inbox and click on the little down arrow, we see a new option that is applied by default that says not just sort by date, but sort by date for conversations. It's a little bit different than just the plain old date. If there is just one message that is not part of a conversation, it simply displays like a normal message would. In this case, the one from Aaron that says budget projections PDF does not have a little triangle next to it, nor does it have any numbers. So this is just an individual message that Michael received. If it does have a triangle, though, and the number, like the one for annual reports from Susan, then we know it's a conversation. And by clicking or tapping on the little triangle, we can expand it and see all of the messages. In this case, we can see that the annual reports conversation had an initial message that was sent by Aaron and then a variety of other replies back and forth, primarily between Aaron and Susan. So even though Michael received this, either having it addressed to him or as a CC, he hasn't actually been part of the replies back and forth. There's one from Aaron, another one from Aaron, a reply from Susan, back to Aaron twice, and Susan again. The number two in this case is referring to how many of these items are flagged for follow-up, and we can see that there are actually two of them. The fact that it's in red is showing us that the flag has actually expired. We've missed a deadline of some sort. That's an awful lot of information from one small entry. One interesting and important thing to know is that conversations can actually be tracked across folders. In other words, if we have messages in the inbox and also things that we have sent or that have been filed away in other folders, they will all show up as part of the conversation. That is, as long as conversations have been configured that way. When we originally turned the conversation view on, we did so from the view tab by using a check mark that said show as conversations. Just below that is another option that says conversation settings. If we display this dropdown, we can show messages from other folders, which is what we've been talking about. We can also choose if we want to show the sender above the subject. If we prefer to see all of our conversations expanded by default, that's an option too. And then there's something else called the classic indented view, which is basically where it makes an outline. I don't know. I like the new view. I think it works better. But we may say that we do not want to show senders above the subject. So we'll go ahead and give that a click and disable that. Now what we're seeing is simply that annual report shows up as the subject, which to me is a little bit more important, and then the people involved in the conversation will be listed below, but not as prominently as they were with that other feature enabled. Another benefit to conversations is if we expand this conversation out, and remember that we are acting as Michael, and we're going to come back down and respond to one of these messages, but not the latest one. We're going to respond to an earlier version. If we select that, Move over to the reading pane and click on Reply. Outlook shows us in the info bar at the top of the message that we are not responding to the latest message in the conversation. In addition, if we say, wait a second, we do want to respond to the latest conversation thread, we can actually click on a simple link to open it. We don't have to search through the conversation thread in order to find it. 
that can certainly be useful to make sure that what we reply to doesn't make us sound like we're out of the loop and behind the curve. We're not going to actually make a reply, so we'll just click or tap discard to close out of that reply message. Remember that conversations are just a view. We haven't really done anything to move or modify any of the messages. So if at any time we want to get out of conversation view, we can go back to that view tab and simply deselect the check mark. We'll be prompted again whether we want to do that for all mailboxes or just this folder. We can make the appropriate choice and it will put our inbox or whatever folder we're looking at back to the way it was by default without conversations. You know, we actually used to have real conversations with people, but it seems these days they are growing fewer and farther between. I know, the technology that I love is part of the problem. Well, it is the problem, but we still need to make time to have face-to-face -face communications with those in our lives. We also have to admit, though, that email and messaging is the primary way that we communicate today. And Outlook's conversation view allows us to more easily track and manage related messages. We're able to review the entire course of a conversation, including who said what when, and be sure we respond to the latest comment or contribution, all by simply enabling a checkbox.